The sun, hitting the beach, and spending lots of time outdoors can be tough on your hair. Don't worry, we've got you covered with simple tips that will keep your hair looking its best. We'll also be revealing a never-seen-before detangler that will give you tangle-free hair and prevents from damage. Let's get right into it. So how exactly is the sun damaging your hair? We all know that we need to protect our skin from overexposure to the sun. It's just as important to protect our hair from the sun too. Not only the sun, but also other activities we carry out outside while having fun in the sun such as sea salts from the beach, the chlorine of the pool, and sweat all affect our hair. Overexposing your precious hair to the sun causes UVA and UVB rays to damage the hair cuticles. Hair cuticle is the outer covering of a hair strand. The UV rays go through the barriers of these hair cuticles, fading hair color and sometimes causing early graying of hair. It also leads to dry and brittle strands which become very frizzy and unmanageable to hold up any style. Other damaging effects of sun include breakage, split ends and thinning of hair. This is all more likely to happen when using many different products and chemicals in it. Sunshine sort of behaves like bleach on hair. As the UV rays penetrate through the hair cuticles, they reach the thickest layer of the hair where melanin is found. Melanin is the pigment which gives the hair its color. The rays react with melanin resulting in discoloration of your hair. This bleaching effect also damages the protein in hair called keratin, causing protein degradation and hence severe hair damage. Each type of hair is prone to this damage by the sun. Light-colored hair are specifically vulnerable to this damage because they are usually thinner and are short of the pigment. Darker hair are generally oilier, which protects them from sun damage along with their coarseness and dark color. Flat-textured, thinned, or twisted curly hair are also more fragile to sun damage. The sun is also tough on your scalp. It can cause sunburn of the scalp and end up making the scalp dry, which results in damaged hair roots. Just like skin cells, hair follicles get damaged from too much exposure to the sun. The blood vessels in our scalp get inflamed, which affect the natural oils of our scalp that are acting as a protective barrier. This damage may end up making hair follicles stop their growth and go into the shedding stage, leading to hair loss. Another way the sun can be damaging your hair is through excessive sweat caused from heat, which ends up making your hair greasy. Extra environmental pollutants like dust and sand of the beach end up giving you dandruff, which worsens the matters. Sweat and dust in your hair may also result in split ends, frizziness, and increased hair fall. Sometimes the damage caused is irreversible, with the only fix being to cut off your hair and let it regrow. So try to avoid overexposing yourself to sun damage. Before we get into tips on how to protect your hair from the sun, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you can join us in this journey to gorgeous hair. Tips and tricks to avoid sun damage. Covering your hair up is obviously the best natural way to protect it and your scalp from the sun. Whether you buy that perfect sun hat or scarf, most give you full protection from the sun rays. Keep a few small things in mind while buying a cover for your hair, such as a wide-brimmed hat protects your face and neck along with your hair. Open weave straw hats do not provide as well protection as tightly woven ones. You can also try hats with ultraviolet protection factor, UPF. Take extra care to add moisture back into your hair when exposing it to the sun, so be prepared to go through more conditioner than normal. Regular conditioning in the summer will seal the cuticle and make it less penetrable. This will strengthen your hair, improve its flexibility, reduce frizz and breakage of strands. Another tip is to apply a leave-in conditioner before you go outside. Although it won't be able to cover up all the hair strands, it will still provide a good amount of protection from the sun. You can even use natural oils as leave-in conditioner such as coconut oil or jojoba oil. Using a deep conditioner once a week will hydrate and nourish your hair, giving your damaged locks the necessary moisture required. We recommend going for natural deep conditioners, but if you choose one from the market, make sure you don't use these treatments every day or every other day as they mostly consist of strong, undiluted amounts of chemicals which are not supposed to be applied daily. Wet your hair down before going outside. The water will act as a barrier and protect your hair from the sun. Rinsing your hair with cold water after being in the sun for an extended period of time is also a good idea. 
Going to the beach or pool? Well, rinse it before and after. When you rinse your hair with clean water before diving into the ocean or pool, your hair will absorb the water so it won't fully absorb the chlorinated or salt water. Washing it out with cold water after swimming in the pool or ocean will help remove chlorine, chemicals, or salt water, which can damage your hair. We love natural ways to protect your hair, so another great way is to dilute apple cider vinegar in water and use it as sun and heat protectant. Mix one tablespoon of organic apple cider vinegar with four tablespoons of clean filtered water. Fill it in a small spray bottle and spray it on your hair and scalp. It's best to spray on damp hair, but you can also spray it on dry. This application will create a barrier against the harmful rays. It also helps balance the pH in your hair, leaving it very soft. Don't overdo it. Once or twice a week is more than enough. Give your hair a break from heat styling. After overexposure to sun rays, the last thing your hair needs is another heat attack from hair styling tools. The extra heat will only make your hair more susceptible to sun damage, allowing the rays to penetrate your hair strands more easily and multiplying its damaging effects. Now, you don't have to give up those blow dries or straighten looks forever, but try limiting the amount of extra heat exposure. Try washing your hair an hour early to give them plenty of time to air dry. Put your hair up. If you can put your hair up when you're going to swim, do it. It'll help minimize contact with chlorine. Following these tips will help bring life back to your sun-damaged hair, making it considerably smooth, soft, and easy to detangle. You'll also love using Tangled Genie to detangle your hair and keep it healthy. Tangled Genie is designed to prevent hair from damage. The flexible bristles gently detangle without worrying about hair pulling, splitting, or falling out. Give it a try for tangle-free and healthy-looking hair. Before we move on to the next tips, make sure you hit that like button if you're finding these tips helpful. Thanks to your support, YouTube will be more likely to share this with others. The more people see it, the more people can be helped. Keep away from alcohol, peroxide, or lemon-based products. These products will lead to your hair drying out even quicker when exposed to the sun. Get regular trims. Split ends can make your hair more susceptible to damage from the sun. So getting a regular trim, especially before the summer months, to lose those damaged ends is always a good idea. Usually, a trim every four to eight weeks makes your hair appear healthy again. Be sure to follow these tips if you want your hair to look just as good in the heat and sun as it does in the winter days. Let us know if this was helpful for you in the comments below. And please subscribe so you can be notified about more tips to keep your hair healthy. Thanks for watching.